While Paul Townsley says goodbye to wife Linda and son Connor, something unexpected this way comes. Linda is off to Breen Sands for a couple of days with her parents, but as they leave from the back, around the front... Helen! Spot the ground force viewer! I do use materials other than gravel, you know, blooming cheeky blight. This is Yates near Bristol, and we've been called in by Paul Townsley to surprise his wife, Linda, but he tells me it's the back garden and not the front garden, so this one's already sorted out. Good morning. Good morning, Alan. How are you? Oh, fine. How nice. yourself? I'm well. This is Charlie. Good morning, Charlie. In. Now, it's not this garden, is it, Paul? I'm afraid not, but uh, I believe you do like a bit of gravel. Don't you start. I'm taking enough cheek from him. <laughs> so, can we go through and have a look, then? I'm afraid we never use the front entrance. We always use the back. Oh, tradesman again, then. Do you show us around yeah, the back, Yeah, certainly. Then? Round the back. What kind of garden does she want? Well, I think any sort of colour at all. Maybe even a bit of grass, and she'd be happy. She's not fussy. She married me. <laughs> so she's easily pleased. Yes, exactly. <laughs> You made it then. Look at this. Tarmac. Wonderful. And a wall. And a garage. And a yard. We've got a lot of hard standing here. Well, I never. Oh. Alan, come and have a look at this. <laughs> Do you find I've is. met one or two long, narrow gardens in my time. Just have a look at this one. They've well, come much longer and narrow than this. You could barely fit Tommy <laughs> Walsh down that one. <laughs> I'm going to have to back out of here. <laughs> Well, look, the idea, presumably, is, Paul, that this comes down and we make that past the garden. If at all possible, yeah. Well, what I thought was, is that if we do this... Come and look at this, Charles, see if you can cope with this. Cos I knew you wanted a lawn, but this garden is so small, you'd have a problem with the Stop mower and getting rid of yeah. the clippings. So I thought I'd do this instead, which is a decked area with stripes on it in yellow and green. Quite subtle. And then you don't have to mow it at all. <laughs> Down here, the paved area that we're standing on now will take up a lot of the edge pavers mm -hmm. there and plant them up. So you've got lots of soft and green planting. It won't look quite so much like a yard. There's some houses got these yellow windows. There are yellow pots picking up that on the patio. Sandpit for the kiddies to play because you've got a child. Yeah, Connor, he's just over two years old. He'll love that. I've brought my bucket of spade as well. I'll be in there. <laughs> this is, yeah, I've, I've drawn those here on the corner. Charlie's bucket of spade. That what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Linda will like it? I certainly hope so, Alan. <laughs> so do I, because we know a little about her, but not very much, in that we caught up with her outside a supermarket in the pouring rain. Our researchers spent most of the day travelling to get these shots, but Linda wasn't too keen on being filmed. It's like filming for a pilot BBC programme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just spare us a second of your time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get it, <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> Just talking to people with children in the area about, you know, <laughs> if, if there's anything that you think, that, you know, the area could improve on. Yes. Uh, makeup artists. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. Okay, sorry. Okay. Shy sort of girl, isn't she? Yes. We didn't see a lot of her. No, not at all. No. <laughs> so, what's her reaction like to come be when she, when she comes back and finds a camera crew in the garden taking over the entire place? She's very shocked. She'll come outside the back door, yeah, will she? Yeah, she's not going to hide in there, she? Well, I'll have to drag her out if I have to. <laughs> First thing to do, I reckon, really now, is to start clearing and, what, get this wall down? Yeah, well, you and Charlie can go on with that. I'm a bit concerned about this uh, summer house because such short notice to try and get one. Um, they've got an ex-display model in a place up in... Where is it? Caversham or something? Canesham. Canesham, yeah. Canesham? Yeah, Do you not know Canesham? No. Horace Bachelor. Canesham. K-E-Y... No, never mind. You're too young, aren't you? Pea producer. Don't know. No. <laughs> Pools coupon, right. Radio Luxembourg. Right, look, will you get that sorted and we'll get on with Can it? Can you show me how to get there? Certainly. Can you tell yes. me directions, Absolutely. yeah? Absolutely. Right. It's one thing to have heard of Canesham, it's quite another to find it. It seems that in these parts, road signs removed in the war to confuse the enemy have never returned. <laughs> Having finally found the place, Tommy's got to find the right wooden building to bring back. One that's not too small for big people, nor too big for small gardens, but just right. 
choose to bring that side in. This is the one he'd thought would do, but is it too wide for the space? Well, look, Roger, let me show you a drawing what Alan's done. Uh, the problem that we have is the area here is very tight. It's only a small garden. Yeah. So I was just wondering if you would... could possibly... What are you saying? Can favor. we get one made for you? Oh, we could. Just if you could do it for just us... You. If you could do it for us, that would save me so yeah. much trouble, you know. Well, I'll leave it in your hands, yeah? Yeah, we'll definitely Lovely. do that for you. Meanwhile, we're passing the point of no return in Paul's garden. Although, in one way, it's a great shame to be knocking down a brick wall, I have to say, this one was so wobbly before we even started. I fear for a child playing underneath this. I'll be happier when it's out of the way. Uh, well, you could have put it in the skip. Whose directions you give us? <laughs> Go! You should have been looking for signposts to Kinsham, not coffees. <laughs> oh. Well, does this mean I've got Welcome to go back, back to work? Welcome back. I'll go put the kettle on and just look at the photograph of Linda. I thought you'd have this finished anyway. So this is the mystery lady. Linda with Paul and Connor. Look at that. I hope she says a bit more, though, when she comes back. Bless. I'm kind of relieved this has come down. You should have seen the state of it when I was pulling it apart. It's wobbly as anything. Dead yeah, dangerous. But I wish you hadn't bashed it with a sledge. I'm going to try and salvage a few more of these because I've got to build a pier and everything, or maybe even continue the wall this way if we get time. Well, you, can, you won't have time. We've got a deck to build here. We've got those slabs to take up, all the infill to go on there, and this pavilion thing to put up. There's no way in two days that you can build a brick wall and do all that. Are you daring me? Is that a challenge? If you want to build this brick wall, and I would be delighted to see a brick wall date, you must do it last. Because then, oh, if you yes. get all that done, the brick wall will be finished, it's fine. But if you are behind that summer house building that brick wall and Linda comes back, then it's your fault. On condition that you don't keep coming up and making smart remarks with the watch. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, you are a witness. It is at ten minutes past eleven on day one. Between now and five o'clock tomorrow, I will not say a word to this man about time. Not one word. But if tomorrow at five o'clock you are behind this summer house, bricklaying, don't say I didn't tell you so. And if he pokes his finger at me one more time, I'm going to bite it clean off to the knuckle. This timber's already pressure-treated to give it a long life, sort of 20 years or so. And this water-based preservative that goes on top of it helps it even more. So um, it's pretty durable by the time you've finished. And a lovely shade of daffodil yellow. But I haven't mentioned the time. Ah. No, I told him I wasn't going to mention the time. These concrete blocks levelled on mortar will support the decking and the summer house in the fullness of time. Spot on. Voila. It's five past three. The yellow planks are almost dry. Well, almost. There's the green paint and the black paint for the shed hasn't come. Charlie and Paul are just clearing out the last of this muck, these scalpings, the lumps of concrete from underneath those old paving slabs there. And we're now at this stage in the proceedings on our third skip full of rubbish. But at least the sun's beginning to come out. And Tommy seems to be getting on frightfully well with his pads. There's something faintly octagonal appearing. Hurrah! <laughs> Right. 
True to his word, Roger Sampson had our gazebo built and delivered in record time. Now all we have to do is paint all the bits and work out how to put it all together. The topsoils arrived as well. It's nice to bring some decent stuff back into this garden, having taken three skipfuls of rubbish out. Soil! Real soil! And now we've got some soil, the gardening can begin. Right, silly. And onto the middle flags. Let's get this cable out of the way. Lovely. Right, well, that's all the topsoil in. That's stored. Precious stuff's off the road. You're yawning. <laughs> it's 25 past six. I think we've done enough for today. All right, Paul. Yeah, no problem. That's Let's go and uh, collect Tommy from his labours. Mm. We've done all we can do. Are you right? Yeah. What, are you going? Yeah. Uh, are you not? Um, I think I'll just have another, about another half an hour. All right, then. All right. You sure? OK. All I'll right. lay the pan of creme de menthe on the bar. You're not really going, are you? Yeah. Bye, Paul. See you in the morning. Yep. Bright and early. Day two. Will Tommy win his challenge to build a wall as well as completing the decking, gazebo, sandpit and anything else that I can think of before Linda gets back from the seaside at five o'clock? As I said yesterday, I won't mention the time at all. And I, won't, I won't mention the time. I will not mention it. Right, let's get going. Go on. You've only just arrived. <laughs> It's getting going. <laughs> if you're going to build walls in the garden yourself, it's best to set them out dry. That way you can work out the bond and how many you need exactly. And I've worked out the sum up here. 19 bricks per course, 11 courses, 209 bricks. I believe in miracles. You saxophone. So, Alan, what's going to happen tonight? Hopefully, what's going to happen tonight is you're going to finish this garden. That's the first thing. Second thing is that when Linda comes back, you've not got to let her come round the back, if that's the way she normally comes in, but mm -hmm. get us through the front of the house. So the first thing she sees when she opens the back door is, is wham, straight into here. So um, does she know what ground force is? No, she wouldn't have a clue. What? She didn't watch it on the telly, then? No, I'm afraid that I, I was guilty of that. <laughs> so you wrote off, obviously unbeknown to her, but she's no idea that we exist, even. No. Does she know who I am? Yes, I should probably think you're Jeremy Beatty. <laughs> Should be quite good. This is the bit that, that we like best, really, because it's sort of proper gardening starts now. Um, and the fortunate thing is, I'll say it when she's not listening, is that we tend to have similar tastes in, in what we like next to what, which is fortunate, because if we didn't, It'd be like husband and wife who didn't get on. Um, so we've, we've done a chunk of border over here. We always plonk them out first so we can see what they're going to look like against one another. Now, most of the plants here we've chosen for their foliage, and we've got blue-grey with purpley maroon from that Heuchera Palace purple there. Ladies' mantle, which is soft green and holds globules of moisture like quicksilver, and blue-grey fescue grass. Peace and quiet doesn't last long in a ground force garden. Jackhammer and nail gun rule here. This tool certainly speeds up the laying of the decking. But if you don't have to work as fast as Tommy does, stick to the old-fashioned hammer and nails. I've salvaged the old gate which has been thrown on the skip, thinking that this will make a lovely background piece. If I can put the hinges on the wall there and fasten it there so it doesn't move for this lovely bit of spore. It's an end to the garden, the beginning to the play area. Paul's putting the boarding up, which is going to act as a retainer for the play bark. 
Tom is still working on the deck, but I'm not going to tell him what time it is, because he's going to think I'm Mr Grumpy if I do. I'm desperate now to get this summer house up. Five past twelve, and we're fast running out of time. Up. Assembling a sectional building like this looks tricky, but it's really quite straightforward if you start with the base, then bring in the sides. <laughs> One word of caution, don't try this on your own. I'll stay here, and you bring another panel. As all the pieces are screwed together, the structure becomes more rigid. Yeah. That's it, all go, just leave me at the back. OK, if you insist. All right. Fingers. Yeah, gently, we're going to swing the rafters. You got that? Gently, gently, steady. Whoa. Uh, 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 no, it needs to come forward. It goes inside. It goes over the edge. Right. Yes. I think we're there. Will, Tommy's assistant, is pushing on, planing the timber for the sand pit so it's nice and smooth. And the wall is started. I thought that you couldn't start the wall until you'd done the sand pit and the shed and everything. What the agreement was, I finished this area here. You, it would be ready for you to put the complain and lay more bus at the shelter same on time, it. Will you? And then you get on with the sand pit. I... You'd be asking me to plant the flowers next. What is he moaning about? <laughs> the words rod, own and back come to mind. <laughs> oh, right. The sand pit has evolved into a triangular shape and it's going to be green. So what do you think her reaction is going to be then when she comes through that door? Very shocked. Very shocked indeed. She is quite a shy type, as you've already seen. But, uh, yeah. Well, we'll find out what a reaction will be in one hour and 45 minutes. This is weed-suppressing membrane, but we're mainly using it here to stop Connor from digging through the play bark, or the sandpit, into the grotty ground below. That was Linda on the phone. She's actually back in Bristol at the minute. She's over in Longwell Green with her mum and dad, and she might be doing a bit of shopping. So there's a chance that she might be back within an hour. Which would be 25 to 5. Yes. There's a chance she might be back, but yeah. we know if well, she's definitely coming. I've told her mum and dad to keep her out till 5, so... Yeah. So they think they can do that? I hope so. <laughs> this stuff this is really coarse chunky they call it play bark because if a child falls over on it it's a nice spongy shock absorber really in the sand pit play sand soft clean and safe love this stuff it's still gritty if you eat it <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, how are you doing? Have sign our chairs yet? Oh, I can't do that, Ellen. You'll have to forge it for me or something. Forge. Will he get above himself then if he uh, completes it? Oh, we'll never hear the end of it. Yeah. All right. It'll be. <laughs> but if he, if he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, they've just indicated pulled up outside the front door. Tommy, she's here, close your gate, get behind it. There's a bit of a stood at the back garden there. Yeah, I think I think you better have a look at it. <laughs> What's this? Come on, have a look. <laughs> Linda. Hello. Your husband said he needed his garden transforming for you, <laughs> but you got a sand pit for Connor. <laughs> <laughs> a sand pit for Connor. Oh, that's lovely. Isn't that nice? 
So you won't really be knocking down a wall over the stairs. <laughs> I'm a liar. <laughs> Is that why you've been shopping trying all to keep day? Yeah. From you? <laughs> I just hope I don't kill all these plants. You are. <laughs> all you have to do is make sure they don't get dry. I'd wash my hands of it. He's in charge. He did the watering. He's the lad. <laughs> all you have to do is enjoy it. Thank you. Let's <laughs> face it, they will do it. <laughs> Yesterday morning's backyard has become this afternoon's child-friendly garden. Now there are two areas, one for play and one for plants. I'm just worried I'm going to kill the plants because I'm not, I don't have green fingers. You won't kill the plants. <laughs> I'll leave full instructions as to what to do. And they're all very easy. Yeah, you tap it. Well, from the sand pit, from all of those of us on sand force or ground force, till next time, bye bye. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to take a crash course in garden. I know. <laughs> Okay. We'll enjoy it. Thanks Have very much. Thank you. Pleasure. Cheers. Cheers.